Hey guys, Long here, back with another math video. Um, I'm doing this last day of winter break, so of course I'm tired, you're probably tired too, so, and of course AMC 10's in a month, so of course we're going to be doing some AMC 10 practice videos. And here's uh, AMC 2004, 10B, 25, uh, should be around the hardest one on the test, it's geometry, and see if you can solve it on your own. So without further ado, here's the solution. And um, first of all, first of all, let's see how to find the area of the shaded region. It seems to be pretty. It seems to be a pretty irregular shape. You know, it seems like we can't really find it directly. Maybe we could just split it into parts. So let's draw a straight line like that. You know, that seems sort of better, I guess. But let me just draw some lines. See if you can figure out how to find the area. Okay, so I basically just drew like this kite shape, except this is sort of key, sort of key to finding the area of the shaded region. Um, of course, to find the area of the shaded region, we just need to find the area of this weird football shape and subtract. Uh, well, I should say, whoops. That's a weird brush. So the area of the small circle is just 1 squared times pi, which is just pi. So we just need to find the area of the football shape and subtract this circle from it, which is pi, to find the area of the shaded region. So let's see if we can find the area of this football shape. Um, first of all, notice that um, because the radius of the small circle is 1, uh, that means this AB, AB, that line, that length is 2. And notice because the radius of these large circles is 2, the side lengths of these triangles are also 2. And because the, the, this is a radius and this is a radius, and because they're both length 2, because the radiuses of the circles are 2, because all of the legs are the same, these are equilateral triangles. So this is 60 degrees. This is also 60 degrees because of symmetry and stuff. So this is also 2, 2. Okay. Well, we have a triangle here. 2, 2, 2, it's equilateral, so this is 60, this is 30 degrees, and this is the right triangle. Let's see if we can find the area of this equilateral triangle. Let me just draw it a bit bigger. This, is, um, this should be 1 because it's 30, 60, uh, it's 30, 60, 90. And because of that, this should be square root 3. Base is 2, so the area is just 2 times square root 3 over 2, which is just square root 3. So the area of one of these equilateral triangles is square root 3. Okay, so what about these smaller triangles, like right here? What about those? The smaller triangle should be just half the area of the equilateral triangle. So these smaller triangles should each be just square root 3 over 2. And those bottom two are as well. Okay, here's where, this, here's where some stuff gets interesting. What if we try to find this shape and follow my pointer? This leg and plus around one side of the football down the other leg. This sort of looks like sort of a pie slice of the entire circle. And what's interesting is that we can find just this area right here. And keep in mind this is these are square root 3 over 2. What is the area of this entire pie slice? Well, because these two triangles are both equilateral, this center angle should be 60 plus 60, which is 120. And if this angle is 120, that means that it's one-third. This sector is one-third of the entire circle because 120 over 360 degrees equals 1 over 3. And just for some images' sake, you can actually see it work out here. Because this is 120, and 120 is one-third of 360 degrees, this sector of this pi, sort of, is one-third of the entire circle. So because of that, we can actually find the area of this sector, because we know the area of the largest circle. The area of the large circle is just 2 squared times pi, which is 4 pi. And if this small sector from, from here, if this small sector is one-third of the entire area, then this area is 4 pi over 3. Now, let's try to find just this area right here. All we have to do is take 4 pi over 3 and subtract the area of this triangle, this long triangle, like right here. This long triangle's area is just square root 3 over 2 plus square root 3 over 2, which is just square root 3. So this area 
which is 4 pi over 3 minus square root 3. We're getting closer now. To find the area of this huge football thing, it's just two of these, because we split it in half. So we find the area of this, which is just 4 pi over 3 minus square root 3, we just multiply by 2 to find the area of this entire huge football thing. So this football thing is equal to 2 4 pi over 3 minus square root 3, which is equal to 8 pi over 3 minus 2 square root 3. And remember, we have to subtract pi because we're subtracting the area of the smaller circle. So area of shaded region is just 8 pi, mi 8 pi over 3 minus 2 square root 3 minus pi, which is just 5 pi over 3 minus 2 square root 3. And if we look at our answer choices, that's B. That wasn't too hard, in my opinion at least. Of course, some geometry can be tricky. You're going to 100% run into geometry problems on AMC, and there's probably going to be one that's pretty hard near the end. So uh, keep practicing that geometry. Um, I'll see you next 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 week, I guess. See you. by a 60 degree angle. So we know that this is 60 degrees since the triangle stays congruent. And if this is 60 degrees, we know that this triangle is equilateral. And we also know that the corners touch. Because since if this is equilateral, then this this length, since this is also made up of two subsectors, is also square root 3 over 3x. So these corners should actually 